Ooh. Uh, I think we found Dami, Mommy. Alright. I'm not trying to get an upskirt, I assure you, Mommy. I'm just trying to see how I could go about destroying your life. Yo, yeah, alright everybody, we are here today taking a look at an upcoming banger by the name of Blood West. And this game is actually quite deceiving, let me tell you. I mean, first and foremost, you see in this right here in our screen, that right there is quite deceiving, because if you look at the other side of this woman, well, it suddenly isn't so appealing now, is it? But I think this is like a taste, it's an example of the deceiving nature of this game. Because you look at it and you're thinking to yourself, well, this is obviously a boomer shooter. Not exactly the case. As a matter of fact, this is more along the lines, I would say, of a Stalker series and the Thief series. Not the, you know, remake, whatever hell they tried to do a couple years back with Square Enix, but the original Thief series in Stalker, where, yes, it's a first-person shooter. Obviously, you could probably get do some damage by, you know, going guns blazing, but if you want to live long-term, you gotta use your surroundings around you. Okay, so let's keep in mind this is going to be an early access, obviously. There is uh, no fancy introduction, I just hit start and I'm already in game. I'm being asked to um, speak to this totem. Sub totem of souls. Oh, it worked. It worked. And he is even in one piece. The dead that he is, I think. Oh, me? You mean us? Nothing but an amalgamation of souls. More important question is, who are you? Mm, it's quite philosophical. The answer is, you're undead. We brought you here by means of our immense powers from whenever place you've been before. We know of your exploits and achievements. Your fame reaches wide across the country. The nasty rumors about you reach even further. You're our ace in a sleeve. Before you ask, no, we cannot send you back. Not yet. See, that's the nature of every summoning. It must have a reason. And a reason you have. As an undead outside of others' influence, you will be our torch in the dark. Your spark will become the flame to purify the rot of this world and free us from the unending cycle of despair. Search for the evil lurking in this world. Smell the sulfur in the air. Taste the corruption. Understand the shattered reality. Sense the vitriol staining the remains. Only then will you be free again and able to leave. Okay. I need to find out what's going on here. Fairly intriguing concept, so... Feels like we're somewhere in between, like, uh, like a purgatory in a way? You know, like, uh, do this, get out. But it seems like we were also pretty bad dudes ourselves. But they're now looking for us to take care of the even bigger bad dudes here. There is an animated dead ahead, and you do not have any weapon. Sneak around by crouching. You get past the enemy. You got it. No, oh, that is indeed a baddie there. As you can see, we do have... Don't jump, Falcon, you ding dong. We do have a noise meter as well. I'm pretty sure vision meters as well. Sticking to the darkness might be our best uh, thing here. Unfortunately, there's not much darkness here. Now, I think there is loot over there. Oh, that is indeed loot. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> gotta go. Oh! Uh... We've been spotted, but that that's okay. <laughs> just pick a hole, just pick a random hole and get in there. Yeah! Ding dong. Alright. It was worth it. It's definitely worth it. Now we got ourselves a weapon. Now even though we got a weapon, as I've mentioned, it's not a game where, I mean, you could, I guess, definitely use it. Oh, you want to use it stealthily, you know, you can't just go in there. Bing, bang, boom. Boomer shooter away. Open your inventory. Oh, I've uh, I've done that already, my friend. It's not, it's not my first rodeo in uh, video games, you see. Slots for equipment. Uh, yes. So, nice and good and everything. I'll figure it out. It's a hot bar. Yeah. You hit one number key, one through five, and you switch through items. Revolutionary concept, I know. Let's 
be quite the predicament here. We got two boys. Two boys. Anything over here, though? Maybe we can just avoid the boys altogether, you know what I'm saying? I was about to go in there and just probably just, uh... Heavy attack one of them in the back of the dome piece, but... Ooh. Let's put these to good use. You're not wrong about that. Sawed off shoddy. Out of my secondary, let's switch it up here. The other guy's gonna be alarmed too, as obviously, but as long as we can take care of one... Back to hell. I'm good. Let's go, buddy. Let's go! How's it going, buddy? What Shaman. A dead man I buried walks again. I sense the restless spirits nearby, but still I hoped your body would be protected by my charms. They were insufficient, as it seems. I'm not sure if you're drunk or you're suffering from a concussion, my dude. Kind of have a little rocky, punch-drunk speech there happening. I found a body, your body, among the remains of monsters, and decided to bury you in a manner akin to my tribe. I did all the proper rituals, but it was not enough, and strong spirits have brought you back. I do not know if this is for a good or bad purpose. Okay, I also picked up a quest from him in particular. He wants me to go to a gravesite and deliver a package, apparently. So that'll be a little bit of a sub-quest for us. Uh, here's our totem. Since you are here, let us explain what is needed of you. This place has been corrupted by a curse, and you need to find its source. We don't know what has brought it to this land, so keep your eyes open. Bring us anything you may deem weird or disturbing. And if you happen to get lost, come to us. We may be able to help or ease your burden. For now, we know where you can begin your search. Follow the most strong scent of darkness around, under the burned church. Within ruined city, you will find part of your answers. And he also said he could bless us if I hook him up with this here. So let's remove it really quickly and see we what type of blessing we're talking about. A blessing. Yeah, you got the gold. Bury it. Oh, I've got we the gold. can do many things, but you can only select one. What will it be? I want to have Cat's Luck make me sign in like a fox, bless me with the brute strength of a bear, give me Magpie's ability to spot shiny things. Ah, uh, you know what? Make me silent. I mean, we're looking for stealth, right? I mean, I'm not sure how silent like a fox I am right now, to be honest with you, but... That'll work for now. Maybe this fox thing wasn't so bad. So I believe... God, I really wish you could just bind this to him. Church is that way. This is towards a uh, shaman little side quest. We're just supposed to leave a bag. If there's any more undeads here, apparently take him out. We'd be doing him a solid. See one there for sure. As long as it remains with his back to me, we should be good. You know what? Let's, uh, we got a couple of bullets, right? Maybe this is the time to finally on, ammo. pop a couple. Best shot there. To hell. There we go. All right. Any more boys around? It's the other question. We're not necessarily bleeding, but it'll give us a little bit of HP back, and I'd rather not drop those potions, which are like I think like seventy in terms of like you know health regeneration. There's her bow. Okay. And another gold coin. Too much of those. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. Is this, uh, is this it? You unpacked a little package and this content spread around you. Everything seems more quiet and calmer than before. All right. That'll come and a silver mug for us to sell. 
There we go. Okay, so we got three skill points to use. Fast hand increases melee weapon attack speed. I mean, I'm kind of using it mainly as a, just to sneak up and dome somebody. Decrease firearm reload time. Increase max HP. Sneaking is easier. I mean, that along with Blessing by the Fox, you'd imagine maybe quite a good uh, combination. So sure, let's pick that up. Still got one more skill point. We got Gold Prospector, Pitcher, Throwable Weapons, Alcohol, Steady Aim. That would be pretty good too. Okay, first and foremost, we do have Old apparently another skill to pick up. A blessing. You got the from you. We can do many things, but you can only select one. What will it be? Uh, let's go with strength now, right? Sure. Not sure where we're going right now in comparison. There's apparently a fort here, though. Let's see here. Map. What can you tell us about this area? Nothing at all. It's a fort. <laughs> it's not towards where we gotta go. But it's a little side objective, so I think, uh... Sure, why not? We're apparently now also 50% quieter. Reduce fast. Oh, I should have probably sold these fangs while I was there too, huh? Yep. Alright. Let's go through this fort. Looks rather intriguing. It's beckoning us for a little bit of exploration and adventure, I'd say. It really depends on who's out here. Another ghoulish dude. And we got a new character, a new monster up there as well. Looks a lot different than what I'm used to seeing. So far, we only had one character, so... Nice to see something a bit new. Another new one up there, too. That one's got wings. Maybe we could fly. Ooh. Uh, I think we found Dami Mommy. Why is it so hard to find a good slave around here? My beauty will last forever. Alright. I'm not trying to get an upskirt, I assure you, Mommy. I'm just trying to see how I could go about destroying your life. As terrible as that sounds. I am done. Ooh. <laughs> I just had to go. I just had to go, man. I could have alerted more people. Sure, you know what? Let's reload really quickly because of that. Oh, she's, there's still another one. I'm sorry, Dami and Mommy. I just think it would happen. We got a rifle, though. There's still somebody walking around. Oh, there's another one up there. Hmm. Careful, careful. Um. It's gotta be a primary weapon, isn't it? Same with the rusty shotgun. Uh, let me get the revolver. Maybe we could probably dome her from afar. Yeah, your voice never stops talking, too. Picked up apparently a lucky card. Ace of spades. Increases chance of getting loot for monsters. Yo, let's go. You are uh, telling me that somehow missed? Told me you're coming. Ow! Do not leave yet. <laughs> Ooh, I could have gotten a lot smoother. And that's a good example right there of um the not boomer shooter nature of this game. Look how quickly we've uh dropped an HP there. Luckily we're not bleeding, so there is that. Uh let's go ahead and drop this potion this is a perfect time for it. It's gonna actually top us off completely. Luckily we do have an extra one, so we can just pop that over here. I'm not sure how I missed that, like I'm pretty sure I got it straight down the side and we shot it. A little suspect about that miss, but that's fine. It's like a winged dude there and like a guy protruding from a casket by the looks of things. Just death. You just know. I was gonna be like, you know, if you missed that one too, like come on my dude. Now you, you seem to be melee based only. As a matter of fact, you look like the ghouls that we've been killing, except you're protruding from a casket. Interesting little design. Okay, that's a new monster too. Not sure what his deal is, but here's my deal about him. 
I think I might be able to just sneak up really quickly here. Somebody's apparently looking at me. Let's go. Apparently drop some sort of toxic fang. It's green, so it's got to be toxic. many shots. I mean, I landed all of them, but apparently the one that I didn't aim down the side is the one that actually got the headshot, oddly enough. All right, it's good. Keep moving. Up, 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 up. There is Toxic Boy again. Stay down. All right. Now I'm feeling it, you know, now I'm feeling it. We got some bullets. Got some blessings. Apparently somebody's also... Spotting me somehow. The casket man, he can't spot me. He doesn't even have any eyes. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's got eyes under the casket, I'm pretty sure, but. The casket on him. How's he sing? See about dropping these points, though. How huh? we got three more to spread around. Increase size of inventory by three rows. Yes. Absolutely. And then running. Max HP. You know what? Or reload trick. Decrease fire load reload time. Yeah, let's go with reload time. So I think there's a guy up here. Putting eyes on us. Probably one of those winged birdmen. Turning on his own kind. <laughs> Saw the chance, had to take it. Okay. Good here. Any supplies for us? Uh, uh, no. Yes? Book? Not a book for <gasps> Yeah, as I was gonna cross over there, I saw like eyes over here, so it was him. There's another one over there too. Obviously, our goal is probably the inside right there, the middle, which is probably gonna be ooh, the guard box. Probably crazier in there, but as long as we have the outskirts completely taken care of, I guess it'll be a lot easier. Let's see about now going through here. Ooh, I know that booty anywhere. That is um deformed dummy mommy right there. Any heals or anything in case she gets crazy? And she is gonna get crazy because you just know it. Apparently a golden skull there as well. Oop, what's happening? Let's put these to good use. Oh, it's probably one of those cursed items they told me about then. And reach from here. Dami mommy's Let's gonna spot put me. These to good use. Yeah, you said that already, my friend. Uh, I guess we gotta go through here. Alright. Luckily, that chest gave us the ammo we did need. Maybe we even pop her with the golden stuff. Who knows? Who knows? Just to make sure we bring her down. Oh, good ammo. Rid this land of you. Uh, you know what? Oh, at least take the ammo. I don't know what else is in here. Let's grab the skull. I think that's probably the reason why the fort's even here, just for this item alone. It's a cursed item the homeboy was asking for. Let's, uh, let's run back and deliver this at least. We have done tremendous here, I would say. But wait! Not sure who put this birdman here on the exit, but uh <laughs> kind of a kind of a dick move. <laughs> kind of a dick move. I was like, well, we, this is where we came in from. We were perfectly fine the way out. I would suddenly something be there and oh man, that thing just rounded the entrance like so. Alright, let's go deliver the skull now, finally. Good god. Alright, boys, I have returned. I got you a giant golden skull. This item you have here, give it to us. We feel the dark envelope of the curse round it. We may be able to figure out its history, and maybe trace the source. We are certain this skull is the thing that started the townfall and gave way to the birth of the curse. When the soldiers at the fort were building a new well, they found this skull, and they gave it to the colonel, who liked such oddities and old artifacts. He didn't even realize when the skull started whispering into his mind. They found the gold under the fort, thanks to these whispers. 
and thus the way to the curse has been opened wide. Unfortunately, though, we are out of time, so I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. It's actually been pretty good. We haven't even touched the main story where we we're supposed to go. We kind of got tangled up with a little side things, but they still attribute to everything overall. But it is what it is. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you'd like to see more, you guys know what to do. Let me know in the comments and by leaving a thumbs up. Let me know you guys want to see some more of something in particular. It also helps out with the algorithm, so the videos actually, you know, decide to show up on your feed on occasion. You know, whenever it might be. Every other fortnight, who knows. And, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys next time.